Organic light-emitting diodes are emerging as a highly attractive technology for displays and future lighting. But until recently, there were only two practical emission mechanisms for these light-emitting devices, fluorescence and phosphorescence, each having trade-offs among efficiency, cost, and stability. However, Kyushu University's Center for Organic Photonics and Electronics changed this in 2012 with the demonstration of efficient thermally activated delayed fluorescence. Here at the Center for Organic Photonics and Electronics, we continue to be at the forefront of thermally activated delayed fluorescence technology. In the short time since the Center for Organic Photonics and Electronics, commonly referred to as OPERA, first demonstrated efficient thermally activated delayed fluorescence, research interest has exploded globally. But to appreciate what makes this emission process unique, one must first understand how organic light emitting diodes produce light. When electricity is applied to an organic light-emitting diode, or OLED, positive and negative charges are injected into the device. Before light is emitted, a positive charge and a negative charge meet on the same molecule, forming an energetic state called an exciton. The electrically created excitons come in two varieties, singlets and triplets, with 25% of the excitons naturally being created as singlets and 75% as triplets. The first OLEDs released only the energy in singlets as light through a process known as fluorescence. Thus, efficiency was low because 75% of the excitons did not emit light. The next major step was the development of emitters that efficiently produce light from triplets, a process known as phosphorescence, by including a heavy metal in the molecule. By also converting singlets to triplets, phosphorescent materials can produce light from 100% of the excitons. However, the heavy metal, which is often a rare earth element such as iridium or platinum, restricts the freedom of chemical design and increases cost. Thermally activated delayed fluorescence makes high efficiency possible without the use of a heavy metal. In both fluorescent and phosphorescent materials, the energy of triplets is substantially lower than that of the singlets, resulting in a large energy gap, delta ST, between the two. The key characteristic of materials emitting thermally activated delayed fluorescence, or TADF, is a small delta ST. By absorbing tiny amounts of thermal energy at room temperature, triplets in TADF materials can easily overcome the small delta ST and convert into singlets. This thermally activated conversion of triplets to singlets produces delayed fluorescence when the upconverted singlets release their energy as light. Thus, TADF materials can harvest both singlets and triplets, making 100% internal quantum efficiency possible. Most importantly, a small delta ST is achievable in organic materials without the use of a heavy metal. Although TADF was first observed in optical experiments over 80 years ago, its relatively weak and inefficient emission in known materials made many people doubt that it could be a practical candidate for OLEDs. It was not until 2009 that researchers at Opera, convinced of TADF's great potential, first demonstrated TADF from an OLED using a known porphyrin complex. However, while delayed fluorescence from TADF was observed under electrical excitation, the efficiency of these first devices was still only a fraction of a percent, hardly high enough to sway any doubters. But, thanks to the freedom of molecular design made possible by organic chemistry, highly efficient TADF would soon be realized by creating new materials. The key requirements for TADF are first, a small delta ST to promote the conversion of triplets to singlets, and second, 
efficient emission from the singlets. While delta EST can be decreased by reducing the overlap of a molecule's highest occupied molecular orbital and lowest unoccupied molecular orbital, or HOMO and LUMO, reducing overlap causes the oscillator strength, an indicator of emission rate, to also decrease. To realize efficient TADF, researchers at OPERA finally balanced this trade-off through the clever design of new chemical structures that combine electron donating units and electron accepting units with a twist between them to partially break their electronic connection, thereby effectively, but not completely, separating the HOMO and LUMO. Using such a design strategy, OPERA realized the first TADF material to achieve an internal quantum efficiency of close to 100% in an OLED, the green emitter named 4CZIPN. By slightly modifying the chemical structure of 4CZIPN, Emission ranging from sky blue to orange could be achieved. The report of these materials in the journal Nature in 2012 marked the arrival of the third generation of OLED emitters and jump-started interest in TADF. Since this breakthrough, OPERA has continued to actively research and develop TADF materials, physics, and applications. Recently, through the study of donor and acceptor combinations for high singlet energies, OPERA researchers created highly efficient TADF materials emitting blue light, a necessity for display applications. Based on quantum chemical calculations, the molecular design strategy has been refined to realize compatibility between small delta EST and large oscillator strength. This is accomplished by extending the HOMO and LUMO over a larger volume, which allows orbital overlap, and thus oscillator strength, to be increased without significantly raising delta EST. In other work, the operational lifetime in devices using 4CZIPN has been dramatically improved over that of early reports through optimization of the device architecture and peripheral materials, such as whole and electron transport materials and hosts, indicating the fundamental stability of TADF molecules. And now, almost 30 years after the first report of practical fluorescent OLEDs, advances in efficiency have come full circle with the demonstration of 100% internal quantum efficiency in OLEDs using traditional fluorescent emitters through the development of TADF-assisted fluorescence at OPERA. This new system succeeds at combining the high efficiency and triplet harvesting ability of TADF molecules with the long operational lifetime and high color purity of fluorescent emitters. TADF-assisted fluorescence, or TAF, achieves this by using a mixture of TADF and fluorescent molecules in the same device, with the TADF molecules harvesting triplets and transferring them as singlets to the fluorescent molecules for emission. The possibilities for TADF do not stop there, with OPERA continuing to explore and develop new applications for TADF and its related technologies. With a wide range of TADF materials already developed and more on the horizon, the potential of this third generation of emitters for low-cost, high-performance OLEDs is just beginning to be tapped, with OPERA leading the way. TADF materials are anticipated to soon find application in consumer devices and may very well become the go-to emitter for OLEDs. TADF is just one example of why we at OPERA believe that organic materials with their freedom for unlimited molecular design will continue to open new possibilities and change our world. <laughs>